machine and everything. And Frank Maisley, um, he, he actually just passed away about a year ago. He, uh, for years, had come out here and he just volunteered because he was, you know, just integral in trying to build the sport. We have a Kunstbahn track. In German, that means it's an artificial track. Um, so we have these walls here that we build ice up on. So we do need a decent base of snow so that we shovel snow into the track, we turn it into slush, we pack that down and let it freeze, and we do that several times so we get enough ice. See how that one works. This is good. My brother and I actually came out here one winter towards the end of the season when I was nine just to try it, and I was pretty nervous going up to it, and then just went down and it was just amazing. And I said, let's do that again. And this is to protect your clothing and yourself. You're gonna lay down, you're gonna grab onto these handles right here. Your feet are gonna go up and your head and your shoulders are going to go back. Here we go, I guess. Ah! No! Illusion is a sport about subtle motions. So you do need to steer the correct parts of the track. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm alive! This is the only publicly accessible loose track in America. And so basically anyone can sign up online and say, I want a luge. Man, it's a leg workout. It's very intricate once you get up to the international level, especially with all the different tracks there are. You have to adapt. Some tracks have tighter turns than others. Uniqueness definitely plays a part. It's, it is the fastest sport on ice, and it's, it's really cool to be a part of it. It's pretty simple. It's easy to learn. It's just hard to master.